it was like getting ready for a Friday night, heading to your local video store to peruse the aisles? Now this is a video store. Well, that experience is nearly forgotten these days. But in the shell of a 94-year-old movie theater in Northeast LA's Eagle Rock neighborhood, a merry band of hopeless optimists are mounting an unlikely comeback. Friday nights were like a party in our store. Kathy Tauber and Patty Pollinger opened Vidiots in 1985, and for more than 30 years, the independent video shop was an L.A. institution, until 2017, when the forces reshaping the media landscape caught up. In the end, we just couldn't pull any more rabbits out of the hat. What was once a fixture faded, until now. There's nothing like walking down here. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, this is like being 15. With the help of a star-studded cast of supporters like the morning show's Mark Duplass, Vidiots is celebrating the unimaginable. The grand opening of a new video store with an astonishing 60,000 titles for rent, a 270-seat movie theater, and a hunger for the shared experiences of the past. You can come to a place like this and, and say, God, you know, I really love what Spike Lee was doing and what Hal Hartley was doing. But like, I also kind of like Stuff that's like a little more like visually interesting, you know? It's like, come with me. Come with me, my child. <laughs> yeah. And they, they hooked you up. And so far, demand has been a bit like 1985, with more than 1,000 DVDs rented in just the first few days. This is one of these things where the community just screamed, we want this thing and we need this thing. And that's the only reason it exists. Did you ever imagine that you would be the last bastion <laughs> standing in this entire landscape? Never. We thought it was like, a five-year thing. Call it a Hollywood comeback, hoping to recapture that Friday night magic. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Los Angeles. For most people, gone are the days of popping a VHS tape into the VCR for a movie night. For people who don't even know what those things are, those days probably never even existed. As Mike McDaniel explains, a New Orleans business owner is plugging us back into the past. Down an alley underneath the mid-city New Orleans home on Bank Street is a place that'll rewind you to the 90s. It is a garage. <laughs> Eden Chubb is the owner, founder, and sole employee of Future Shock Video. Video store proprietress, I think that's a great title. Inside is a collection of about 2,000 VHS tapes, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Plenty of like crowd pleasers, classics, stuff like that. All available to rent for a movie night at home that doesn't involve a streaming service or the internet. I don't think physical media is actually as dead as people imagine that it is. It was an idea that started about a year ago. You definitely have to have a passion for it. No one's getting rich. After about six months of collecting movies, Chubb opened her store two months ago. I had heard about other video stores that were still around in the rest of the country and they just weren't here. Just more than 100 people have already signed up for their free membership. Rentals range from a dollar to three dollars per movie. Week-long rental period. You can even rent a VCR if you don't have one at home. But Chubb says that really hasn't been an issue. Surprisingly, huge numbers of people still have VCRs and will rent tapes. It's about a third of our rentals. As an illustrator professionally, who doesn't like to get too caught up in the digital space. This is our rewinder. Chubb is an advocate for physical media. That's helped her open the door to this blast from the past. I like people standing in the aisles having conversations about movies or just like debates or rants about movies or just like bringing their kids in who have never been to a video store before. From horror flicks to cartoons for kids, Chubb has it covered right down to the snacks. I think it's actually fun to watch a tape where there are no ads for anything else other than like other movies. While it may seem outdated to some, to Chubb, there's nothing sweeter. Mike McDaniel, WWL, Louisiana. Future Shock Video is only open on the weekends right now and it's currently looking to move to a new location.